Because so people keep asking, why, why are you going to London so much? Which is fair because you probably think of me, you know, and Paris. Not necessarily think of me and London. Which is too bad because it's pretty insane. They let you use stairs on moving vehicles in this country. I think that's pretty badass. Metal. One, it's right here. Like, it's so close. It's a train ride away. And I've spent so much of my life in Paris, enjoying London, wanting to go there and just not doing it. And I was kind of like, why, why, am I not, why am I not just going? Why don't I just do it if I want to so badly? So a big part of it is just like life is short and it, it's right here. I think it's just wanted to capture that sense of like, why am I not, I, I don't leave Paris enough. I want to see more of the country, more of, Europe, but also London just has so much to offer that I really miss, more than I just like to like stumble into. It does take forever to cross this city though, but it, it's not a joke. It's huge. I think I've been on I think I've been on this train for about an hour. I am I am getting a lot of reading done though, at least. That's one major benefit. Oh, oh yeah, it's this way. It's like stuff like this. Where am I gonna eat? What do I want to eat? Walk down the street, vegan tacos. Just the options that pop out here in London. We have some stuff like that in Paris. And if you're saying, Jay, I think you're probably being a little bit harsh. Like Paris has a lot to offer. You're totally right. There are hundreds, literally hundreds of places that I love in Paris. It makes it impossible to go back. I have, I have cravings to go to places that I don't think I'm gonna make it back to for months. So it's not an issue of Paris not having a lot to offer. Paris has a ton to offer. You know, but it's just the novelty. The novelty is worn off to some degree. I mean, if you live in Paris long enough, you come to recognize that there are just things like Indian food or just spicy food in general, like good, strong flavors. It's just harder to come by. I wanted to try this like a uh... Indian bento box situation for a long time. I don't know, every time I walked by, I didn't try it. And that's the beauty of it. There's so many things to try. There's a burrito place across that has nachos that I obviously have not tried yet and must try at some point. And a banh mi place, chili cheese steak, chili cheese steak. Go for it, yeah, yeah, go for it. You can come back here like 20 times and still not try half of what's in here. Kind of like the, just being able to walk into certain neighborhoods and eat by feel like, what is it that I actually want to eat? And the amazing part of places like this is just, kind of everything on offer. The irony is that I was gonna say something about how it's nice to go somewhere where everybody speaks English as well. Part of the reason I love coming to London. And then ironically, a French family sat next to us. <laughs> They're everywhere. I get a lot of pushback on this from my British viewers every time I say it, but like customer service here is also just so much better. It's not just nice to go somewhere where you speak the language freely and breezily, but it's also, it's just a relief in its own way for that. And also it's not just customer service, like where people, I feel like there's just a higher level of conscientiousness. This can also be seen in sharing sidewalks. Parisians are terrible at sharing sidewalks. It's so nice to go somewhere where by and large, people move around each other in a way that actually makes sense. Well, I definitely do find myself going back to some places that I love because there are obviously neighborhoods that are gonna vibe with me more than others. And there's no way I can explore all of London maybe over the course of my lifetime. We'll, we'll see what we can get, but it still gives me a sense of exploration. It still gives me this feeling that there is so much more to find and discover. And as much as I love Paris, Paris is my home and I, I love the city deeply. It doesn't give me quite the same sense of exploration because I've kind of seen, I've seen a lot of the city. I probably have seen as much of Paris as the vast majority of, of Parisians at this point, if not more. You can check the comments below and see if Parisians agree with me on that or not, but like I get told that by Parisians all the time. So it's comfortable and I love it, but I'm looking to like poke around a little bit more and see what I can find. And London has a lot of that to offer. But that also has led to a lot of the fun of helping other people come to Paris. Like I don't have that level, of, London I can't help you in this. I have a lot of places I could recommend in London because I've found a lot of great places. But what makes it more fun to explore Paris and to continue to see what's popped up, what's disappeared. There's a coffee shop that I found out vanished last week, like they're just gone. So I had to take them out of my guide. Helping people find great stuff that I love in Paris. If you like the kind of stuff I like, if you like traveling by mouth, if you love to eat and drink your way through a city and then maybe throw in some sights along the way, but really you're there to see what they have to offer in the multicultural wonder that is cuisine. I love helping people figure that out. 
you can find Coco Vin on your own. That's, 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 it's everywhere. Well, that's not entirely true. I, I can probably help you find a better one. So I guess what I'm trying to say is while I love exploring Paris to be helpful, I love exploring London just for me personally, like to get that sensation of discovery back. It's really great. But then it, it comes back around in Paris and I've really enjoyed the last few weeks of traveling around just to see what's still available in my guide and is it still worth it? That's actually what ended up leading to a thing that I've talked about a little bit on Instagram but I haven't talked about yet on my vlog, uh, which is itineraries. Like helping people plan entire days in Paris, not just my guide, but like doing the city as I would do it over the course of the day. You know, obviously when I visit a place, I'm eating, I'm drinking, the coffee is central to pretty much everything, but then great food, especially international, like interesting local stuff, some delicious French things as well. I do have some French favorites, as much crap as I give the French, but my life is probably only like 15 to 20% French food and outside of that, there's just too many other delicious things in the world to try. You can get all my recommendations for Paris in one place, parisinmypocket.com. My guide, it's evolved over the years. Like I started because like what, 2018, people were always asking where they should go to get this or that to eat, how to use the Metro, where to stay in the city. There's just so much information. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna compile it all into one spot, a PDF and sell that. But then the PDF was so hard to update. It was so hard to, like things change all the time. The restaurant scene especially is always in flux. So that's why we ended up developing it into an online dynamic guide, which is great. But then what if you're just completely stressed out of your mind for the planning element? Like what if you're like, Jay, hundreds of places to go. I can't choose. What am I doing? Like how do I spend these days and not waste, a, not waste a minute? The irony that I'm talking about this while I'm in London is not lost on me, don't worry. But I guess it might be confusing to people that don't know me very well that I'd be coming to London so often, but it's just because I like wandering. I like exploring. I like seeing a place and being like, that looks interesting and going and trying it or maybe walking through the door and being like, nope, not my vibe and leaving. Like I would rather discover it on my own than read about it somewhere else. That's the great irony of what I do for a living is that I'm effectively here to help other people learn from my mistakes. And yet I would, I, I, I have to learn the hard way and I get a lot of joy out of learning the hard way. So if you'd like to benefit from all this exploring, trying things out over the course of the last six or seven years, then you'd rather not, you know, take the risk with your time in Paris, then maybe let me plan an itinerary for you. We've done a few now, we've done a bunch now, and a few people have gone on them and they've been kind enough to write us some rave reviews. They've had a great time. And it's actually really satisfying to see that like, oh yeah, the way that I would take my friends or my family out for a day or two in Paris is exactly what there are. There are other people that would want to do that too. Like you can go find the Eiffel Tower on your own. You can find the Gherkin on your own if you're in London. But if you're hanging out with me, like I'm going to take you to the places where you're going to eat, drink and caffeinate well, that I would go on any given day with my friends or by myself out wandering around and just having a grand old time. Sounds, I mean, I, I have fun. Speaking of exploring, thanks to all the explorers at heart, my patrons who are probably pretty adventurous themselves, and Steve Lee's today's patron producer, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. So just to clarify, there are itineraries, like one or two days planned, coffee to cocktails. I won't be joining you, but I will be planning the days for you as if you were a visiting friend or family member and I were taking you out. Things that I would actually want to do, the way I would actually enjoy spending my time showing someone around the parts of Paris that I love and spend a lot of time in with my friends anyways. The other thing is, it's actually pretty labor intensive. It takes us at least a few days to make each of these, which makes it basically a premium offering. And I like to hand draw maps for each of them. I don't, if you know that I like to draw stuff. So it takes a little while, so we can only do so many. So if you would be interested, go to parasmypocket.com slash plan, reach out, let us know. We'll start a little conversation and see if we think we'd be a good fit for each other. And if we would be, happily, uh, I'm looking forward to planning a day or two for you in Paris. Thank you.